Hi, I'm Zio. I'm a software engineering student at the University of Applied Sciences, and I made shaders for Roblox. TikTokers, YouTubers, and even Roblox themselves have acknowledged or used these shaders, and so can you. But I'll get to that later. You might wonder whether shaders are considered an exploit and if you can get banned for using them. Admittedly, I cannot tell you for sure if they are. But there are hundreds of forum discussions about whether shaders are bannable, and almost all of them conclude that they are not. Because there has not been a reported case of anyone getting banned for using them. So you do not have to worry about getting banned. Small mistakes can lead to big discoveries. For example, I accidentally found out that you can use this same method to have a green screen anywhere in game. But I'll show you how you can do that and a lot more later. First, let's install the shaders. The first thing you do is go to roshade.com. It's in the description below. Click on download on the homepage to install the latest version or go to the changelog page and choose whichever version you'd like. I highly recommend just installing the latest version, so just click on download over here. Now you will be taken to the download page where, you guessed it, you press download. I do update the shaders regularly, so the download page may not look exactly like this for you. Once it is finished downloading, it should give you this pop-up where all you have to do is click on save file and then press OK. Once you've done that, locate the file. For me, it's on my desktop, but it's likely in your downloads folder. Once you open the file, you can see a lot of stuff that you don't have to worry about. If you're a more advanced reshade user, you can choose the manual installation, but I highly recommend you still just click on roshadesetup.exe. Once you open Roshade Setup, you'll see this pop-up, just click on run. At this point, you might also see a pop-up from Windows. Just click on more info and then run anyway. And now you'll see another window. I just selected the recommended option for this tutorial. Now you'll see the setup window. Just hit next. Click on accept the agreement and then hit next again. Here you can choose which presets to install. They're all selected by default, so you can just hit next. Now it will begin installing. Once it is finished, it will show you this pop-up. Just click on OK and then exit the installer. Now, when you join a game in Roblox, it will show you this pop-up. The shaders will launch on the medium preset by default, but you can change this by pressing page down or page up on your keyboard. You can also toggle the shaders on and off by pressing F8 on your keyboard. If you want to do things manually, you can do so by pressing F7 on your keyboard, which will open the reshade tab. If you don't have F7 or F8 on your keyboard, you can select FN8 or FN7 instead. Now that we have reshade open, we can also just manually change the preset. You don't actually have to remember all of these keybinds, they're all available on the website. And as you can see here, we also have the green screen preset. You can use this to key out the background in your editing software. So as you can see, now I'm in space, ah, and now I'm skydiving, ooh. Of course, you can also change the distance of the green screen by changing the threshold over here. And now I'm underwater. Whew, that was a lot, okay. Now, before I show you the crazy things you can do with Reshade, I will first show you what I do whenever I join a game with Roshade on, in case you're confused. So I just joined a game in Roblox, and as you can see, the shaders are on right now. Now, I might not want to use this shader because it's really laggy. If you want to choose a preset yourself, then open the Reshade tab, click over here, and then choose whichever preset you'd like to select. So as promised, I'll show you a few secret things that you can do with Reshade. So we're gonna open the tab and we're gonna look up Tiny Planet. And now something crazy happens. Uh, to make it so that this actually makes sense, we need to change this a bit. So I'm gonna go over here and increase the scale. Then I'm also gonna change the center. Mm, that didn't really change much. So just mess around with these settings a little bit, and we're also oh, and we're also gonna rotate it maybe like this so that's a bit centered. There, and now we have a planet. It's called Tiny Planet. This is so weird. Whoa, whoa! Let's try and order a pizza over here. Oh wow, this is so weird. Yeah, can I get a pepperoni? Can I get a pepperoni pizza, please? Oh, wow, look at this. This is like a dream or something. Or a nightmare. Another secret thing that we can add is snow. So look up the rim light effect. There we go, rim light. 
when you click on it, it will show you snow everywhere. So now everything looks like it's covered in snow. Another really fun thing is when we go to the SSR, this is the reflections effect. We select it and then increase the reflection amount. We're gonna get this really cool effect over here. It's extremely bright. You can't really see it when you look up. So we're also gonna put the reflection exponent to zero. And now as you can see, everything looks so reflective. It looks like the floor is a mirror. This can get pretty laggy, but it still looks really cool nevertheless. So that was Roshade. You can find it on roshade.com. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can also join my Discord server and I'll see you there.